Here's your NBC 26 News update. I'm Nina Sperano. The chancellors at UW-Milwaukee and Madison say students, faculty, and staff will not be required to get COVID-19 vaccines to return to campus this fall. UWM Chancellor Mark Monet says 75 percent of UW System's employees and 20 percent of students have already received their shots. Students who don't get vaccinated will have to submit regular testing for the virus. The Wisconsin Department of Health Services is set to unveil a new tool to help you get a COVID-19 shot. It's called Vaccine Finder, and it was launched by the CDC in March. Health officials say it gives users a customized experience when looking for the vaccine. Vaccine Finder can also filter by vaccine type. Because the Pfizer vaccine is the only one authorized for use with 16 and 17 year olds, the ability to search specifically for Pfizer will be especially helpful for families looking to vaccinate their eligible teens. Once the new portal launches next month, DHS will work to make sure the data is correct. This weekend, you can catch a Bucks game and get a COVID shot at the same time. The Milwaukee Health Department announced yesterday it will offer vaccines to people attending next Sunday's game at Pfizer Forum when the Bucks take on the Brooklyn Nets. Time now to check on our weather. Let's send it over to Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Cameron, what's the weekend looking like? Well, Nina, what we're seeing right now is what at least half the weekend is going to look like. After some sunshine this morning, we now have cloudy skies and a few showers moving through. Temperatures are currently in the upper 50s to around 60 degrees. And that's basically the story for tomorrow. Lots of clouds, a few showers. Temperatures will be in the 50s to around 60 degrees. For your latest news, sports, and weather, download the NBC26 News app. It's free. Just search for WGBA. Have a great day.